clearing a squib here. So we've loaded up some squibs, but before we do that, we're gonna test out one of these clearing charges. It should be about the equivalent of a blank. I kinda wanna see what the slow-mo camera here is going to show when we fire it. Okay, so now that we've actually seen that, pop, that charge fly, we have a squib here. So this is just a round, fired with no primer. Well, with a primer, no powder. All right, we're gonna fire this off. It should, in theory, lodge in the barrel. From the end of the barrel, back, the bullet's trapped about right here. So It gives us enough room chamber around because it's going to chamber about right here yep so what we have here as our theory squib loading the squib clearing load do not try this at home this is a high probability of breaking the gun that's yeah. why we're doing it with a high point because I'd rather not buy a bunch of more expensive guns <laughs> so we have one load of powder it's a minimum spec loading for one of the powders and a more consistent powder than what we found out last week. I have a piece of cardboard wadding in here to hold the charge in place up against the primer. That way we're going to have a consistent detonation. We're going to load this into the gun, which is really, really finicky to do. And we're going to see if we can get this thing to fire. I repeat, do not try this at home. Locking it open, casing ejected, and the rod, it cleared it. It is cleared. We're gonna cut the feeds, and we're gonna tear down the gun and see if we bring the barrel. As far as we can tell, there is no ring. None whatsoever. Well, as we found out, it does clear the barrel. And with this gun, it did not ring the barrel, surprisingly. It even got the bullet mostly on target. Though it is very, extremely difficult to load it. It is very abusive on your extractor if you're going to just drop it into the chamber. So, and all in all, don't try this at home. It may work, it may blow up your gun, but it's probably not gonna blow up the gun, but you may damage your barrel. It's not really worth it. Get a brass rod. Yes, get a brass rod. You can go on Amazon, they're like five bucks. Even at $10. Just this little piece of brass rod, about a third of an inch, will do you fine. It will clear anything nine millimeter and higher. You can go smaller if you want something smaller, but it's a lot cheaper than buying different uh, brass rods for your cleaning kits when you break your cleaning kit trying to pound these out. Get a brass rod on Amazon. They're cheap. They're worth it. Now, next time up, we're going to do some other dangerous, stupid reloading things like putting a double charge in the gun. And this double charge is actually a compressed load, so it's doubly dangerous. So why don't you tune in next week and check it out. If you liked what you saw, like, comment, subscribe. We'd love to hear from your listeners, and we'd like to know what ideas you'd like to see us test.